Welcome to Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems Overview of Care Coordination. This is Lecture C, Long-Term Care Coordination. Thank you for taking your valuable time to invest in learning what it means to coordinate care. As you view and learn from this webinar, you will become better navigators so you can truly be better guides to coordinate care with your patients traveling through the complex and often frightening healthcare maze. The objectives for this unit, Overview of Care Coordination, Lecture C, are to discuss specialty care coordination, discuss long-term care post-acute care, and identify stakeholders in care coordination. First, we'll discuss CMS Accountable Care Organizations. These organizations are voluntary organizations of multiple healthcare providers focused on chronically ill patients and providing the right care at the right time while avoiding unnecessary duplication of services and preventing medical errors. Some of the ACO programs at CMS are the Medicare Shared Savings Program, which is fee-for-service, the ACO Investment Model, which is testing prepaid savings in rural and underserved areas, the Comprehensive ESRD Care, focusing on dialysis, the next generation ACO model for those ACOs that already have experience, and the Pioneer ACO model for organizations experienced in care coordination. ACO goals are to prepare for and implement new reimbursement methods measuring outcomes across the care continuum. They also hope to align diverse stakeholders in a geographic area and implement planned and coordinated care processes specialized for chronic conditions and preventative care. Accountable care goals include developing a clinical integration system to align practices and providers around systems thinking approaches to meet patient-centered organizational goals. Understanding, planning for, and adopting risk-stratified care management aligned with care coordination and using health information technology to manage population utilization needs for specialist care in order to better provide accountable care. Home-based chronic care model and the integrated care model by the Sutter Center for Integrated Care includes community-based care delivered in a home health setting. It may also include custodial care, the old-fashioned medical house calls, setting up a hospital at home, as well as palliative, hospice, and advanced illness care. Skilled nursing home facilities, rehabilitation facilities, home health, and hospice are examples of the long-term, post-acute, and chronic health condition care settings where care is ordered and referred by the primary care physician team leaders and care coordination expands to multidisciplinary teams. Care teams are responsible for ongoing care coordination and securely maintaining and sharing pertinent patient health information. Shared plans of care are developed and designed to meet all of the individual's patient's unique care needs to include the right combination of prescribed post-acute services that may include skilled nursing, rehabilitation, therapies, nutrition, counseling, and household support throughout the lifespan. Care coordination includes periodic assessment and review of needs and abilities on an ongoing basis, keeping care teams informed about changes in patient conditions, addressing needs related to social determinants of health, sharing patient information with care teams, 
and collaborating for self-care management with the engaged and activated patient and family. The care coordination from facilities to home model leads to decreased length of hospital and facility stay and a decrease in unnecessary readmissions. It has increased interest in how care coordination for transition from hospital to home can benefit patients and families. Hospitalized patients can be discharged to home to rely on physician order and coordinated care through home services, which may include end-of-life hospice or palliative care, and also any type of appropriate home-skilled nursing care or simple attendant household assistance in the home. Patient and caregiver interviews reveal that satisfaction with home health care and hospice or palliative care services have proven by research to be positively related to the receipt of needed care, information from the home care staff about medications, equipment, supplies, and self-care. Caregiver burden was inversely related to care coordination for receiving information which may include education and information delivered through technology systems from integrated healthcare organizations. Recommendations for improving care coordination in the transition from hospital to home at the near end of life includes providing more information, more reassurance and emotional support, and more household assistance. Stakeholder perceptions and valued attributes of care coordination and care delivery experiences that relate to care coordination include sharing health information through improved technology, participating as expanded team members of the patient-centered medical home team, and sharing decision-making in agreed-upon physician orders for patient care prescribed by the ordering and referring primary care team physician. These valued care coordination attributes include data-driven management for coordinating care through measured care assessment, care planning, monitoring, reviewing, providing uninterrupted care services, continuity, trusting partner relationships, and collaborative shared decision-making. Stakeholders in the care coordination process include patients and families, entire communities, as well as federal, state, and municipal governments. Consumers and consumer groups are also involved, as well as advocacy and public policy groups. Healthcare reimbursement entities and organizations such as health plans, government plans, employers, and other purchasers are also involved. Other stakeholders in care coordination include patient-centered medical home care teams and care coordinators, home caregivers, nursing and home attendant service providers, care managers, physicians, the medical neighborhood, health information technology systems groups, as well as telehealth telemedicine, and virtual care groups. Patients and families. Perhaps the most invested stakeholders in care coordination include the patients and families who traditionally have passionately performed most of the care coordination for a loved one, although they often have accomplished the care coordination with no formal training in health care. Entities and healthcare organization stakeholders responsible for reimbursement of healthcare support shared savings models, value based models, and models where risk adjusted comprehensive primary care payments from public and private payers, as well as employer groups, strategically promote care coordination as a quality outcome and utilization improvement measure. Care coordination is a stakeholder priority that will focus on controlling and reducing the total cost of health care for an individual or population because increasing appropriate navigation across care transitions has proven to decrease costs and improve outcomes. Advocates and policymakers, 
regulatory policymakers and advocates in the public, government, and private sectors are among the many stakeholders in care coordination addressing aspects of the health system that can eliminate barriers to better care coordination. Policymakers, agencies, and government leaders at the state and federal levels drive health system regulatory reform based on information and data metrics from programs that incorporate key features of care coordination integrated into health care reform models, such as patient-centered medical home and neighborhood, accountable care organizations, health information technology systems, and payment reform services and programs. For employers and purchasers, redesigning benefits programs to incorporate healthcare coordination and systems technology features into innovative payment models that work to share best practices and resources based on successful models, including workplace wellness initiatives, increasing prevention programs, and benefit structures. Each are tied to stakeholder positions for improved healthcare coordination and systems technology. This concludes Lecture C, Long-Term Care Coordination of Unit 1, Overview to Care Coordination. To summarize, care coordination requires collaboration and communication between the primary care physician team leader, care team, and the patient. In long-term care, teams are responsible for ongoing care coordination and securely maintaining and sharing pertinent health information about patients. There are a variety of stakeholders in care coordination, the most important being the patients. To summarize the unit overview to care coordination, care coordination requires collaboration and communication between the primary care physician team leader, care team, and the patient. There are various post-Affordable Care Act models of care coordination across the care continuum. Patients are the most important stakeholders in care coordination.